hello guys and welcome to my new video in this video i'm going to show you how to root your android device without a computer without a bootloader open you don't need to install any custom recover in your device so first of all before we do the process make sure to subscribe on my channel like the video and let's get started <music> Hey guys, uh, before we start the video, please, please, please follow the all step till the video end. So be, please do not skip the video because you will not miss any important part of the video. So uh, before we do the process, let's make some changes on our device and then let's install the application that we're going to use to root our device. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we are going to enter into your settings and then after getting into your settings let's let's open about phone so in about phone we're going to open again and software information so here we're going to click around seven times at build number okay at seven times at build number as you can see my phone is saying that developer mo mode has already been turned on so in your case may turn on the uh, developer option at the first time but in my case i already have the build uh, developing option open it okay let's go back to the beginning and then let's click on developer option here and let's click on it so here we're going to make some changes and then we're going to do a uh, next process okay so guys as you can see here usb the booty mode is activated in my case so please if it's turn it off it if it turn it off in your case so you can turn it on click ok if it asks and once you did this we're going down here Once we turn it off, we turn it on the, the booty mode, we're going back to do our process. But before I install the application, I'm going to show you that my phone is not routed, that my phone has not routed access yet. So I'm going to use one application that is called a root shaker. I'm going to download it from the Google Play Store. Yes, you need to click, you need to open your Google, you need to open your Google Play Store and type here root root checker and then you're gonna install it if you if, if you didn't install it so now i'm going to verify a root as you can see guys as you can see guys sorry root access is not properly installed on this device as you can see guys sorry root access is not properly installed on this device so now i'm going to show you my version the version of my android i'm going back here about phone and i'm going to show you my android version software and as you can see my android version is 10 okay let's go back so once i'm here guys so i'm going to show you how to download the application that i'm going to leave from the link that i will leave on the description so to download the application that i'm leaving in the link here down here so you need to click the link after you click the link it will show if it will show up like this so you're gonna click on subscribe channel once you click it on subscribe channel you're gonna click on subscribe okay click on subs subscribe and then go back and then once you go back click on unlock your link here we are and the Vimos Pro full version will be available to be downloaded. So let's go back to the beginning. So now guys, you're gonna install the Vimos Pro and then open it once you download it. Okay guys, this is the, the, 
this is the first time that you open the Vimos Pro and you're gonna confirm it and swipe to the right swipe again to the right once again and you're gonna click on enter to Vimos Pro okay now you're gonna outro it all click on it and then you're gonna confirm the all things that is asking so go back and here hello and hello all time and hello again and hello again all right so now this is the first time that it shows up the Vimos Pro so now you're gonna click on one of these virtual machines to install, to, to install. so I highly recommend to you to use the second option click on the second option and wait until it's being downloaded wait until it's, it's downloading it won't take too long so just be patient and wait As you can see guys the download is already done and now the room the virtual machine is being start is being installing okay this application will not harm your device if you just follow the all steps that I'm that I'm taking here on the video and then you will not be you will not have a phone hermit As you can see guys uh, the the second the virtual machine that we already loaded is installed here so guys let's click on ok and then let's click on let's open it and see the the, the second version that we are, we are using is a virtual machine uh, it's not the original machine but second vir mach machine a virtual machine it is uh, rooted but to see that it's rooted we are going first to make some change on the settings and about phone and then in we're going to go we're going to click around seven times on the body number as we did before okay and let's go back one time and then the option and then we're going to click on always be the body mode all right click okay then let's go back and then we're going to uh, see if our phone is rooted or not if our virtual machine is rooted or not okay to do this process or oh, if you need to use another more step or another more application this you want to do is just download here this is the, br the browser we're going to use to click the bro the, the the website that you're going to use so it's google.com okay so open it and let's choose here root circle all right Okay, let's download here the root shaker. Click OK. Let's wait until the download is being processed. Ah, it's already downloaded. Let's click on it and then let's install it. Okay guys, the root checker is already installed in my device, my virtual machine. Let's open it. Once we click on open, let's confirm here. And then let's swap to the right. Swap to. Okay, and now let, let's check if the phone is, it has a root access or not. Let's click on verify root. As you can see guys, the 
device is asking me to give a permission root permission to my root shaker and let's click to the third option here and let's click on allow and here as you can see guys the phone has congratulations root access is properly installed in this device so guys uh, as you can see it is it has root access and then you it will work without any problem with your android device as well so now you can see this the the virtual machine if you want to go back that's you have to minimize it and then it shows up your original machine as you can see here does not have any road access and there in the virtual machine it has a road access as you can see guys you have two machines on your own one android so guys thank you for watching this video and uh, if you have any doubt just click um on the comment side and uh, you can write there and i will answer if i have the opportunity to do it so see you on the next video